Eyewitnesses have told the BBC that three people were shot by men in a military van outside the state house in Umwahia, Abia State, southeast Nigeria. Two people died and one was rushed to hospital. A curfew was declared in the state earlier this week following heightened tensions between the Nigerian army and the secessionist group, the indigenous peoples of Biafra. There have been reports of clashes in the southeastern state of Abia with the movement accusing the Nigerian military of killing several of its members and surrounding the home of its leader, Namdi Kanu. Well, Ifanye Ejiofo is Mr. Kanu's lawyer. He told the BBC he believes the military are out to kill his client. The, the fact is that I, I'm not even seeing what they are doing in my house and an attempt to arrest him. I get him. It's not an attempt to arrest him. That is, it is a clear mission to eliminate him. It is not an attempt to arrest him. To kill him. Yes, that is what I did. Because tell me what I did in the room, shooting in the room, in the, and also in the parlor. Tell me what military is doing there. This is a matter in court. He comes to court. As I speak to our final action against the federal government and also the military, in the federal court of Maya. We have evidence. We have evidence. As I speak to you, we have evidence. We have a video clip. We have the photo photographs of the activity. Well, Brigadier General Sani Usman is spokesman of the Nigerian army on the line to our Abuja our studio. I asked him why they had invaded Mr. Kanu's compound. It's that assertion is not correct. Nobody invade anybody's compound. Uh, possibly you are referring to the misunderstanding when uh, our troops were passing by, some group of miscreants pelted them with stones and uh, sticks to the point that a female passerby was wounded and one of our soldiers, Corporal Kola Ole Machu, was also wounded. But beyond that, there was no such thing like invading anybody's private property, let alone Nandi Kanu's personal residence or his family. So, somehow. General, what was the military doing around his house? It is not around his house. You have to be familiar with Amma'ai here town to know where the military was. And the truth is that there are a lot of misinformation and propaganda ongoing. But what happened that day, it was just a misunderstanding between the group of some group of miscreants and the soldiers that were passing by. And it was solved immediately. There was no such thing at all. Well, they're saying that th some of the uh, IPOB supporters were killed. But even if you say this did not happen around Mr. Kanu's house, surely the military should uh, recognize how sensitive things in the area are now and shouldn't be carrying out a show of force around there. What I want you to understand is that uh, the exercise we are about embarking uh, on Friday has been slated since last year, and we have carried similar exercise last year. And we also carried similar exercise in some parts of the country, the essence of which is just to uh, sharpen the skills of our troops in internal security operations. And it is going on simultaneously in five southeastern states, including uh, cross river state. I see no reason why the one in uh, uh, Abia state should be blown out of proportion. And there is no single incidence whatsoever in other states. So, what about these pictures that are, are making the rounds on social media? We, we see young boys being beaten by men dressed in uh, military fatigues. Uh, some people look to have been uh, as if they've been shot. Uh, are you saying that these pictures are being staged? If yes, by whom? One thing I want to make clear is that there were a lot of, uh, you know, insinuations and mischievous uh, uh, propaganda going on. Uh, the video in question you are talking about, there was a uh, allegation of uh, some soldiers humiliating or maltreating some people that sus we suspect uh, uh, members of uh, independent people of Biafra. And that issue is being investigated. So far, I'm sure 82 Division has uh, uh, even made some arrests. The whole essence of it is to 
uh, you know, discredit the army. But, but, but General, I mean, with all due respect, it's, just, it's not just the IPOB members who are accusing the military. I mean, uh, early this year, uh, Amnesty International came out with a report accusing the Nigerian military, military of heavy-handedness in dealing with this issue. What I want you to understand, uh, Amnesty International allegations, they are not new things. They have been making the same series of allegations for the past four or thereabout years. And in 2016, February to be precise, we were the one who formally invited Amnesty from their London office to come and interface with us to trash out all these allegations, but they said they were not independent enough. Brigadier General Sani Usman of the Nigerian Army. Yeah, this is our balance. My people, you have seen what is happening in Aba. Aba, we are not happy. Aba is burning now. Aba na aboko. I know also yesterday going to Aba, the road block was too much. They blocked us from going to Aba and came back. Now I'm getting reports. They are still killing people in Aba. Sija kwa kwa buhare, makiha ona kwa di bido. Sija kwa buhare, ya sinato ike kwa le mwado ha. Emu, Usmano Mbaka, ndi tiyele no chichi. Usmano Mbaka, Reverend Father Usmano Mbaka. Emu, Kedafa ha. Then the time after Ndala, the Sinda, and the CIA support for APC. They should go to war. We are not at war. We should remove soldiers from our land. We are not at war. I heard about war. The Africans are peaceful people. They should leave the African land alone. Makambo Gebido. They should go and study the history of Aba people. Oh, Kabatai, we say cannibalism in Aba. If they provoke Aba to become cannibals again, not even Africa can save the world, this part of the country. If they provoke Aba to become cannibals, then Atano Mado again, this country will not contain anybody. They have been killing people since on Sunday. They tried to go to our house and people, uh, some of our members drove them away. By turn dance will start next month. They have started moving around, uh, ammo tank around Afari Beku. Is Afari Beku Federal Road? Afari Beku Road, is it Federal Road? Afari Beku is, is a village. What is Amor Tank doing in Afari Beku? There is a poli uh, police uh, area command in the in the in the in the, in the, uh, in the community of Omaya. The police is not aware that army is coming to their to their place. The police have not written to you that the situation in Afari Beku is beyond them. What is army looking in Afari Beku? What is army even looking in the street of Nigeria? Kedi Honya Mina Achona street in Nigeria. And all these men are keeping quiet. Eh? Ebidi Emo, police station, they will start talk. Ebidi Ibu Mwad in blood daylight, they will start to preach the word of God to us. Si Jegwaha, Reverend Fadus Man, talk to your Buhari. We are not at war. 
there is no report of war or killing of people in the southeast. Concerning Alhambra election, IPOP said we are boycotting election. We cannot be beer friends and we will be voting in Nigeria. We didn't say we are stopping election. If you feel like voting that you are still a Nigerian, you can go and vote. Nobody is stopping you from going to vote. I have right to say I don't want to vote again. I can't be a Biafran and be voting in Nigeria. It's very simple. Are you going to force me to vote in Nigeria? Are you going to force me to answer in Nigeria? No. My name is Zonia Kachuku. Okay, okay. You can't force me to answer Emmanuel or Alphonsus or Frank or Donatus. They should remove soldier from the street of Aba. Because when this thing is out of hand, even me and you, me and you, you that is watching me, me and you, me and you will suffer. I don't really have a big boy. My cousin is a big boy now, and I don't want to achieve Goku. They are swaddling people in the street about since Sunday. Nobody is talking. Now I'm talking from my domain. This is evil. Army should go back to the north or to their barracks. It's the duty of the police to maintain law and order. Maintaining law and order. IPOP is a legal organization of freedom fighters. They have not breached any protocol. They have not stopped any people from moving to their usual place of work. So why should you send army to stop people from going to their businesses in Aba? And the Pazu is the current state of emergency. A uh, curfew and what they uh, 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 what did they call it? Curfew. Curfew for what? Last night they went into houses and they are killing people in Aba. Brutai and Mohammed Buhari. Our people are not happy. Uh, we are not happy. You are killing people's brother. You are killing people's brother and sisters. That's whom you are killing. And blood is thicker than water. Blood is thicker than water. Blood is thicker than water. I will not talk much on this. Share this video. They should leave our land. We are not at war. The duty of the military is to maintain the borders of a country towards international external aggressions. They went to Bakasi Peninsula and Cameroon people chased them. They lost our land in Bakasi Peninsula. What war have they won? They went to do peacekeeping in, in Liberia. Boko Haram is still killing them in the north. Nigerian soldiers are only strong when you tell them, go and destroy a kuku in Owere. We are market women are, 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 are selling market. They will rush and start shooting. That's where they are strong. Yes. They asked a white man, commander that went to Somalia, that went to war in Somalia, who was a hero in Somalia, and the man said, how can you be a hero? When 7 million Somalians have AK-47, if you if IPOP get armed, I am sorry, even my own life is I will be at risk. If they succeed in making us to pick up arms, they started selling arms, AK-47, like they are selling bread in the street of Nigeria. This country will not remain the same. Nobody has monopoly of killing. Every human being is wicked. Every human being is kind. Every human being is greed. Every human being is wicked. Depending on the one, the spirit that possesses you at the moment. All these things are spirit. Don't allow the spirit of wickedness to enter into our life. Because we all have them. We all have them. Don't make us to be go violent. 
We all have them in us. It's all possessing, it's all possess, it possesses every woman being. Take this message to Brutai and Buhari. They should leave our land. If the need for military invasion arises, we will call them. Right now, police are still working in Biafra land. And we have not attacked any police. They should leave Biafra land alone. We are peaceful people. They should leave Biafra land alone. Thank you.